Hey everyone, uh, my name is Scott Rankin. I'm the author of Nixia and Saving Fable, and I'm here today to tell you about my newest book, Ash Lords. Once a year, the entire empire gathers to watch the races. Only the most elite riders get to participate, but what makes the sport so magical are the horses they ride, phoenix horses. The breed lives for a day riding impossible distances, never getting tired until the sun sets. And when the sun sets, they die, they burst into flames and they become ashes. And the riders have to wait until sunrise the next morning to bring the horses back to life, saddle up and ride off. But this is also where the riders have to start thinking strategically because different components, different powders mixed into the ashes can create different types of horses. So let's say I had the right ingredients, right? I could scoop just a little bit of this and I would have a horse that can run on water. If I scooped just a little bit of this, maybe I have a horse that has armored shoulders or a horse that glows in the dark. And as long as I'm good enough at alchemy, I can create different types of horses to give myself an advantage on the next leg of the race. But Good alchemy will only get you so far if you can't defend your ashes at night. Because while murder is outlawed, breaking bones, poisoning an opponent's horse, all of that is very legal, even encouraged. This year's races follow 11 different competitors, but three have more to lose than the rest. The first is the daughter of two former champions. The second is a scholarship entrant whose video goes viral. And the third is the son of a revolutionary. And they all have very different reasons for wanting to win the races. So who will be crowned champion? Well, you have to read Ash Lords to find out.